Hi everyone. Uh, I want to thank you for coming to my YouTube channel. And my name is Diane. I'm an intuitional ascension coach. I help people go through the awakening and the ascension process. This video is going to give you uh, four ways to raise your vibration and get you through the dark night of the soul times as quickly as you can. Number one, exercise. Take care of yourself. Get some exercise. Um, it doesn't have to be anything huge. It doesn't have to be strenuous. It, it can be walks. Walks in nature are, are huge to get you through the ascension process. Um, even if you're not going through a dark night of the soul, you should go for walks on a daily basis. 30 minutes, 40 minutes, whatever you can afford, go for walks. Uh, the other thing, number two, is meditation. Meditation is huge. Um, there's a part of your brain that you use when you meditate that isn't used for anything <laughs> anything else. So it's like any other muscle in your body. When you start to meditate, you start to use that part of your brain and it actually works works it like a muscle, like as if you were exercising. And what happens when you work that part of your brain more often by meditating than you would otherwise is you open it up to being readily available to accept messages from uh, your guides, spirit, the universe, you know, everybody calls it something different, whatever you call it, God, it doesn't matter, but it opens you up to receiving the messages that they want to give to you, as well as downloads. While you're asleep, you're getting downloaded with information and upgrades so that you can ascend and uh, grow spiritually and while you're going through the ascension process you are growing soulfully exponentially it's huge and that's what causes a lot of the emotional pain as well as the physical pain because as the soul's growing the actual physical body can't keep up with it um, the other thing you can do number three to help you get through this ascension process and and speed things up is purge. Get rid of the dead weight. You're heavy. You're not going to climb. You're not going to ascend as easily as someone who doesn't have a lot of dead weight to carry with them. It only makes sense that if you're lighter, you're going to raise easier and quicker. Uh, whew, go through your closet. Clothes, shoes, purses, ties, jackets, anything you can think of that's in your closet. If you haven't worn it or used it in the last few months, gone, get it out of there. Give it to a second hand store. Let somebody else have it for a while. Drawers, go through your drawers. There's got to be stuff in your drawers that you haven't used and you don't need. Get rid of it. Um, ornaments, pictures, mirrors. Things that you're storing, go through your storage and, and take another look at it and, and kind of ask yourself as you're going through it, do I really need this? If it's been in storage for six months or a year, you haven't been using it. Do you really need it? No, you don't. Get rid of it. Let somebody else have it for a while. Um, what else? Let's see. Purging. I think that's about it. Just seriously lighten your load. Uh, number four is love yourself more than the need to keep someone, something, or a situation in your life. If you're hanging on to someone just because you don't think it's right to let them go, or you know it's going to be painful to let them go, um, if they're no longer serving a purpose in your life, they're dragging you down. They're weighting you. They're, they're not allowing you to ascend uh, at a, a, a good clip. You're going to be <laughs> you're going to be taking longer than is necessary. And trust me, you don't want to be in this process any longer than you absolutely have to be. It's not a pleasant process. It's not pain-free, that's for sure. A lot of people have a lot of physical pain as well as emotional pain. Now, some of that is also caused by um, 
childhood traumas, even you know emotional, physical traumas you've had through your adulthood up to this point in time, they all you know do affect you, especially if you didn't deal with it at the time. If you've got any emotional trauma that you've kind of repressed and and suppressed that you didn't want to deal with, you just wanted to move past and you know let's leave that back here and keep moving forward. Nah, that doesn't work. It bubbles up and you will keep revisiting it one way or another until you work through it. And and the thing is, to work through it, a lot of people think you need, you know, maybe you need to talk to a counselor or a psychiatrist or someone like that to get through these emotional traumas. Not true. All you have to do is allow it to bubble up to the surface understand what it is and what the feeling that goes with it is you know is it anger is it uh, fear nine out of ten times it is it is fear driven because the only thing that isn't fear driven is love so <laughs> you're not going to suppress love obviously so it's obviously fear driven figure out what it is try to get as deep as you can to understand what it is about this particular thing that keeps bubbling up to the surface or that has you know bubbled up for the first time you need to understand why it's there and where it comes from and deep down what that emotion is that put it there in the first place once you understand that let it go it's gone you won't have to revisit it again it's not I think the most difficult part about that is understanding what it is what what the initial pain of it was in the first place. I've, I've done that a few times and it's not easy but you know what nothing in life is and I'll tell you what going through the dark night of the soul periods is hellish sometimes. Usually it's hellish. I don't, I don't think I've gone through any that aren't hellish except for now because I've, I've ascended to a point where I do still go through them. However, they're a lot smaller. I might go through them now for, you know, maybe a couple of days, three days max. And they aren't as intense as they used to be where I can remember one of my first ones was months. I went through this thing for months. I thought I was losing my mind. And usually you do, unfortunately. And especially if there's no one around you that's going through it or understands what you're going through, you're on your own. It's, it's tough people start to think you are losing your mind and that just that just adds to it and catapults you further into that that uh, deeper emotional pit so do what you can to get through it love yourself more than the need to keep anyone anything any situation in your life that is no longer serving you a purpose um, do what you love Reward yourself. You know, if you love ice cream and you're thinking, oh, I can't eat that because I might gain weight, <sighs> let that go. Do what you love to do. Give yourself a reward once a week. Go for that ice cream once a week. Buy yourself new clothes. Buy yourself whatever it is that you want. Um, don't do things that you don't love anymore. It, it's really hard to be in this position because I know you're probably a light worker, you're probably an empath, and we like to do for other people, we like to give to other people, we like to serve other people. That's gone. At this point in time when you're ascending and you're trying to reach that upper level of love, you need to let go of that. You say, I mean, don't be mean to people, don't not help people, don't not serve people, but right now you need to look at you, number one. If you're not here, we got nothing to talk about. So take care of yourself. Put yourself first. If somebody wants you to go somewhere or do something and you thinking, geez, I really don't like that, not sure I want to do it, but I'll go for you, don't do that anymore. Go for you or don't go for you. But do whatever it is that you love. Eat what you love. Go places you love. Watch the TV shows that you love. Watch the movies that you love. Rewatch those movies that you love. Laugh. Enjoy life do things that are good for your heart and your soul that's what's going to allow you to ascend but get rid of the dead weight that's a killer let go of the things that are no longer serving you a purpose that is huge because i'll tell you what 
if you don't get rid of them, the universe is going to make sure they disappear. And that's never easy. And it's never pretty. And it's never not painful. So one way or another, this stuff is leaving you. Do it yourself. It's a lot easier. By the way, I have a Facebook group that you probably already know of. It's called Divine Ascension. Everybody in there is amazing. They're helpful. They're loving. They're caring. They're giving. They're there to help you. Any questions you have, put them into the group. If you want to just watch for a bit, be a member and watch, do it. We don't care. That's totally up to you. Do not feel like you'll ever come into that group and ask a question or talk about an experience where someone's going to make fun of you, someone's going to judge you for it. That doesn't happen. I don't have those kind of people in my group. It's uh, a closed group. I have to approve everybody that comes through and I'm very careful in how I do that. So check it out. I'm going to put the link at the bottom. It'll be a huge help for you. Honest to God it is. These people in my group are amazing people. They help everybody. They love everybody. So that's it. Have a great day. Thank you so much for coming into my YouTube channel and thank you so much for subscribing and liking and I'll see you next time.